Over the last 10 years, the Department of Radiology at the University of Florida College of Medicine has conducted a simulation-based evaluation of radiology resident competence in critical care imaging. 316 residents interpreted this case of a pleural mass as one of 65 cases during an 8-hour simulated on-call shift, with a median score of 2 out of 10 and an overall average score of 2.35 out of 10. Overall, the average number of points lost out of 10 to observational discipline was 7.54. At the same time, 0.10 points were lost due to interpretive errors on the part of the residents. We define an effective report to be one which achieves scores between 7 and 10. In terms of letter grades, this would be an A or a B. In this most missed case, 2% of residents produced effective reports. We define a report having a critical error to be one with scores between 0 and 2. In terms of letter grades, this would be an F or a D. In this most missed case, 56% of residents produced reports with critical errors. This case is a 72-year-old man with body aches, shortness of breath, intercostal retractions, and weight loss. This is the PA view from a two-view chest x-ray. Main finding here is we have some widening of the superior mediastinum, in particular on the left. While this could be secondary to uh, vascularity, it does raise suspicion of possibility of a mass or adenopathy, especially in the left more so than right paratracheal region. The heart size is normal. More so in this examination, if we look closer at the left lung apex, we can see that there is a pleural-based lesion here. Here is the outline of the lesion. Where this pleural-based lesion is, we see some irregularity of the left second rib. Portions of this rib are destroyed. This fi these findings in constellation raise suspicion of a more aggressive process. The underlying lungs appear emphysematous, but otherwise are clear. Therefore, the impression for this examination is that there's a pleural-based mass in the left upper lung with adjacent rib destruction. There is superior mediastinal widening, some of which may be vascular, although there is suspicion of mass adenopathy higher up in the mediastinum. Therefore, the recommended follow-up in this examination should be a CT of the chest to better define the mediastinal mass as well as the degree of destruction in the left upper lobe. Therefore, the acuity of this examination is urgent.